So you've heard of a high pass filter and a low pass filter. So what the heck is an all pass filter? Well, a high pass filter of course lets high frequencies pass through while attenuating the lower frequencies and the low pass filter is just the opposite of that. So the all pass filter lets everything through. So what gives? Well, an all pass filter can be thought of as a type of delay device where it's taking the original and it's recombining it at a slight delay and thus introducing a different amount of phase shift depending on what frequency uh, is is interacting. So basically you take a harmonic spectrum of the original sound uh, combined with itself at a slight time delay. Some wavelengths are uh, going to be affected more than others. Where this gets really interesting is when you start applying some kind of control over time of where that cutoff position is and then playing with the amount of resonance control you have. A really great implementation of the all-pass filter can be found in Massive from Native Instruments, so that's what we're looking at right now. I'm starting with a really basic kind of square wave sound that's been combined uh, with three oscillators. All right, and then I've introduced an all-pass filter in filter one here. So if I take the resonance down and play with a cutoff a little bit, you'll hear uh, what kind of effect this has. Now increasing the resonance as I go. Let's put this around here. Probably already getting some ideas of what you might be able to do when you find a, a nice position in the filter that resonates nicely when that control is up quite a ways. So let's take a look at some possibilities here. Um, I've got, for example, a, a preset envelope here, envelope number one, and the way I can apply this envelope to the cutoff position in Massive is to just take this little symbol here and drag it right into that box, and that's telling me that envelope one now is being applied to the cutoff position. <laughs> try with this pattern that I set up ahead of time. You get the idea. A lot of different characteristics, a sort of hollow, phasey quality comes out of it depending on where the cutoff is positioned and how much resonance control you have. I think it's really important to use some kind of envelope control or LFO control over the cutoff position so that there's a change over time. That's what really makes it sound more interesting. You can also experiment with using more than one all-pass filter concurrently. So I've set up another all-pass filter here on filter 2. I'm going to turn that on and let me play with this and see what we come up with. <laughs> Thank you. 
pretty interesting colors coming out of that just by combining these two different all-pass filters at different frequencies with different amounts of resonance and then shaping each of them over time.